Let's say you're thirsty right now. I bring in 12 ounces of water. How much will it take to quench your thirst? Two minutes. Two minutes. How did the brain, when you finish drinking, where is that water? It's still in your stomach. It has not been absorbed into the body yet. How did your brain know you had enough water to quench your thirst? Well, let me come back to that. So the water was still in your stomach, your thirst is quenched, your brain knew exactly how much it needed because another time you have been working out or in the sun, you would be more thirsty, you will drink more. The amount you drink, could you predetermine how much will it take to quench your thirst each time? No, you determine the quantity, the volume, as you are drinking. Why? How? How does it work? If I blindfold you and give you something to drink, how do you know whether it is water or milk or coke? How do you know? The taste buds. What I'm suggesting is the taste buds are telling the brain not only what is going down, but they are also metering it. The brain knows your deficit. And when the intake matches the deficit, your thirst is quenched. There's a similar mechanism for each and every nutrient. That is why you have to chew and eat slowly, register it. And when the brain senses enough have gone down, it reduces the intensity of the enjoyment. Then you stop. It does not take 20 minutes. The 20 minutes comes from the enzyme in the intestine to be released. That's a backup system. That is not the primary system. The primary is in your mouth, if you pay attention. But as adults, we get used to a certain volume of food. Once you put it on the plate, you're going to finish it.